You must have seen Python code where values are compared with the equality operator. But sometimes the is keyword is used. What do they do? And when should you use one or the other? Here is the answer. Look at this class. It's an employee class which is initialized with an employee name. Now I create two employees with the same name. Let's compare the objects. The equality operator checks if both objects have the same value. The is keyword checks the identity, which means checking if both variables point to the same object in memory. Both comparisons return false. You might say this is correct because there are two different variables. Surely they are not the same things. Now look at this code. Here you see the same comparisons with integers. What do you think is the result now? Hmm, that is strange. Both comparisons return true. There must be a difference between an integer and your custom class. And of course there is. Let's start with object equality. Object equality means that even if two objects live at different memory locations, they are considered to be the same. Here you can see two objects with the same employee name. Each object is assigned to a variable. As authors of the class, we want to define that the objects are equal to each other. You can do this by implementing dunder equals like you see here. When I run the code, the equality check now returns true. Notice that the identity check still returns false. Equality now does what is expected. So what did the identity check do? I can explain this really easy because there is no Python programmer on this earth who has not seen the following. Here is the same code as before, but this time I print the objects. You already know what the result will be. Python prints the objects, but since we did not implement Dundo string, Python prints the object identities. So now you also know the meaning of the strange addresses here. And look at the addresses. They are different. This is why the is keyword, or better said, the identity comparison, returned false. So how can you change the object identity? The answer is, you cannot. The object identity is issued by Python when objects are instantiated. So when are they useful? There are a few places when they are useful, but I'll show you the most common one. Have you ever tried this code? Isn't it strange that this works? How about this code? None, true and false are objects in Python but they are special objects called singletons. That means that there will always be a single instance of them. And that means that they will always have the same object identity as long as the program runs. Look at this code. A is set to none. It actually means you point A to the already existing none object. And that means Python can check if A is none by just checking if A points to the same memory location as the none object. And now you have all the knowledge to answer the question from the beginning. When to compare for equality and when to compare for identity. Use equality to check if the values of objects are the same, regardless of the object's memory location. Use identity checks for comparing to singletons like none, true and false. There are, however, some edge cases. For example, two variables pointing to immutable objects might or might not get the same identity. 
This can even depend on the Python runtime you are using. My advice is to always test equality and identity yourself to exclude any unexpected surprises. I explain object identity and object equality in depth in my Python data model course on Udemy. I'll put a link with a discount in the description. I hope this helped you.